Hiya folks, thanks for joining me again. Uh, I'm just visiting a new permission. I've got access to a couple of fields, um, big fields. I'm sure that back in the day there were there would have been several fields, but they've all obviously had the hedges ripped out and made into a couple of big fields. So, so far, what have I had? Well, I've been here probably a couple of hours. I've had uh, a couple of bullets, the old button or two, uh, a very slick worn coin uh, and that was pretty much it. The signals are quite few and far between actually so it's a it's a bit of a struggle but <laughs> you never know what's going to turn up and something good has actually just turned up so let's show you this find. Whoops, big bee coming fast, go away. Oof, blimey. <laughs> right, okay so you can see it's uh, very shallow actually, it's only three or four inches deep. What have we got? Well, this is what we've got. A nice big chunky Roman coin. I think it's Roman, it's got to be, hasn't it? Now, that's the biggest Roman bronze coin that I've ever found. I only usually find the little uh, little small ones, sort of fourth century coins. Um, I have given this a brush. You can see a bit of the bronze shining through actually. Um, I'll give it a better clean later on when I get home. Now that was a 25 signal. Now my last 25 signal up here was a bit of a big, a big chunk of lead. Um, now I've already said that I'm getting very few singles but this one I thought oh no it's going to be junk again. Like, Is it going to be a shotty or something modern? Well I'm really absolutely chuffed to bits that that's a uh, what appears to be a Roman coin. Anyway, that's a lovely find. I'm absolutely thrilled to bits with it. Um, and in fairness, if I find nothing else, it's been worth it just for that. Uh, I hope I do find something because I'd like to make a video out of it, but uh, <laughs> we'll see how we get on. I didn't film the other finds because there weren't anything special. Uh, now this could, this could just be a single coin that's been dropped and it may be a fluke that I found it. But I'm going to concentrate in this little area just in case um, it's, it's got to be worth a go hasn't it yep there we go folks brilliant I'm still in the same area folks um, I'm doing this hand held I probably will do for most of the finds well whatever turns up from now on it's just so much easier than trying to get a tripod mounted up um, I forgot to say that I'm using fail one today recovery speed six I am by a zero um, just had another signal down here, uh, low 20s again, only shallow, and looks like we've got another coin, but it's not Roman, <coughs> excuse me. Can you see that? <clears throat> the George V, I think. Oops, sorry. Yeah, I'll have a... I'll better look when I get home, but uh, looks like a George V penny. Good. Another find worth having. <laughs> well, we've got a signal in the uh, low to mid-twenties again. It's in here. Maybe... Well, let's get some light on it. Maybe a button. Might be a coin. What was that? About five inches deep, I'd say. Looks like a coin. It's not Roman. <laughs> Too thin for that. Yeah, looks a bit uh, a bit slick that one, doesn't it? About the size of a farthing, I think. Right. Well, I won't mess around with that too much at the moment. I'll uh, get it home. And have a look and see if there's any detail on it. You never know, there might be. He says hopefully. So a coin of some sorts. Just had another shallowish find down here, again in the twenties. Um, I think it's modern unfortunately, but it's quite a nice little find that. Uh, I think it has to be a draw pull handle, doesn't it? Or something like that. It's quite an elaborate one though, if it is. But I think there's a 
possibly a screw thread in the bottom so it's not going to be too old is it <laughs> shame that because i actually quite like that i don't know if that's victorian or earlier or even later i thought it was a chess piece at first until i saw the hole in the bottom I'll check that uh, later on, but I'm pretty sure it's a screw thread. But yeah, that's uh, that's quite nice, that. Sorry if there's any wind noise, folks. Um, hopefully it won't be too bad. Right, we've had a 20 signal, quite shallow. I'll show you there. Only, oh, I don't know, two or three inches. And I've seen it, and I've put it down, but I haven't had a good look at it yet. So, here we are. Oh, sorry, that, does that help? <laughs> I think we've got a bit of silver. I, th I hope it's silver anyway, I'm going to feel a bit of a, an idiot if it isn't. It's definitely not hammered. I hope it's silver. Oops, what's a bit, a bit slippery this one. Who was that? Is that George V? I can't even see if this is focusing. I've got the, the tripod's really quite low. And I can't quite see through the screen properly. I think it's a George V. Sixpence, I think. Well, I presume it is anyway. Bit of silver. Lovely. Um, I can't remember, I don't know if this is full silver or whether it's just 50% silver. Uh, but either way, I'm happy with that. 20 signal. Lovely. Um, finding that little Roman coin has actually slowed me down because with it being a new field, I was just wandering across trying to find something, looking for a hot spot, and I didn't really find one. Um, and I got to this top area of the field found the Roman coin and thought, right, mark the ground where you found it and grid it. So I'm sort of gridding this top area here. So I have found some more bits through, through doing that. So sometimes you just got to slow down, take your time and dig anything that might just be a reasonable signal. I mean, I've even dug a few bits of iron up just to double check because, you know, with iron, you can get some sort of glances off the edges, can't you? And it gives you, gives you a positive signal. So I've even been digging a few of those and it has turned out to be iron. But it's always worth slowing down, double checking everything. Brilliant, that's great that. Let's carry on. I don't know what this is. Uh, kind of looks familiar, but I'm not sure what. It was uh, an 1819 signal. Looks like pewter, actually. Uh, I don't know what that is. Is it off a bit of... I don't know, gardening equipment or something? Or... I wouldn't have thought they'd use pewter though, would they? I suppose it could be copper or bronze or something, but... Uh... Oh, I have just nicked it actually, I've look of it. Yeah, it's broken there. Um, I don't know what that is. Quite corroded though. Oops. <laughs> Come back. There you go. It's one of them. Well, we have a 21 up to 24 signal here. Uh, I have had several shotties, um, sort of similar readings. So it could be, could be a shotty, I think. Possibly. Oh no, I hope it isn't. But no, oh, it's not. Definitely not a shotty. Oh, look at that. Big old nail. Big square nail. Yeah, must be made out of copper. <laughs> Go away, fly. Yeah, I'll keep that. That's quite nice. <laughs> For a nail. Go away. Not you, folks. Anybody date these? 
big copper square nail. Right. I have another signal, folks. 23, 24. <coughs> so let's see what it's going to be. One of them fellas. <laughs> shotty. Oh dear. Yeah, just a shotty. Oh, it's so nice being outdoors. I mean, I really do feel for you folks who can't get out yet. Um, there's nothing like a bit of fresh air. It's good for the soul, I think. This was pretty much a surface find. Little, uh, little hoop. Oh, excuse me. There go, a bit distorted in shape. Um, quite a thinnish one, really. But I think it has a medieval look to it. What do you reckon? Could well be. It's got a little nick out of one edge somewhere. Uh, can't see it through the through the phone screen. Is that it? Yeah, just there. Hello. <laughs> you hiding? Yep. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's quite nice. I don't mind finding them at all. Lovely. Time is marching on, folks. Um, Got a few more shotties, or oh, a couple more shotties I should say really, buttons. Got a little 20 signal here. Um, I don't know what that is, I've had one of these before actually. Never did find out what it was. It's uh, copper and it's got that fairly big hole in one end, very light. So I'm sure they had a purpose but I can't think what for. Mm, maybe, uh, maybe one of you knows. <laughs> Hi folks, um, this is actually my second visit to this permission. Uh, I'm in a different field today. I'm only here for about three hours. Um, I wanted to try this field on the other side of the lane. I've had a lot, well a lot, quite a few shotgun caps and just little bits of junk so far. Oh, a couple of tiny buttons. I've just had a signal uh, down here, only shallow, uh, three or four inches. It was jumping from sort of 18 up to 31, 32 uh, and I thought, oh, probably modern but I'm pleased to say it's not so let's have a look at this little find so I'm in the stubble there's the hole, only shallow and there we are so I think that could be a cartwheel penny let's see, it probably is, looks a bit uh, I think there might be some detail on it, but I don't have much luck with cartwheels. They're usually quite corroded, and I think this one could be as well. <laughs> could be as well. Um, but still, it's nice to find something reasonable. Yep. Yeah, pleased with that. We shall have a look at that later on and see how it turns out, see what state it's in. Not too sure what this is, it was just below the surface, um, 25 signal. So it's copper, um, I wonder if it's something horse related or farming related, I'm not sure really. Uh, yeah, I haven't found one of those before, whatever it is, is it decorated? Might be something on the outside edge there. So whether it would have had something else inserted in the middle, um, I don't know. 
interesting though. Yeah, why is that? Good. <laughs> nice little find either way, whatever it turns out to be. Well, since the last bit of video, uh, I've had a few musket balls. Uh, also, a little wren farthing as well. Uh, I couldn't film that because <laughs> I just I just looked up and there was a lady about 20 foot away from me walking her dogs. Um, so, not to worry, I'll show you that in roundup anyway. I've got a signal in this hole, it was up to 23, but very squeaky, and there's some iron around it as well. Um, but I've dug the hole and I can actually see something. Can you see that? Just there. Haven't touched it yet. Hope it's a coin. Yep, it's a coin. Um, I can't see what it is, but going by the colour, it looks it could be a Victorian coin, maybe a half penny. And if you can see anything on there, is, it, is there something there? It's very worn again, typical. Upside down, it could be upside down for us, as I can tell. Anyway. I think that's the bust there. Yeah, very worn again. Um, not sure, uh, maybe Victorian. I'll have to check. Uh, get the magnifying glass out on that one, I think. <laughs> Good. Right then, here we are with all the bits and pieces from the uh, the two visits. Most of it's from the first visit. Um, I only got a few items on the, the, the other afternoon that I went. Some bits of pot there. I always like to pick these things up just in case. That, as far as I know, that could be a bit of a drainage pipe. <laughs> I don't know. That's the base from something. Possibly one of those stoneware type jars. Um, some bits of green glazed pottery. Well, I think that piece is anyway in particular. I'm not sure about that one. That could be. Possibly medieval. Some other bits there. Bit of pewter. Um, not sure what that is really. I think that's pewter again. It was a bit like a stair from a watering can or something like that. Yeah. Sorry about the focusing. I'm sure I've just nicked it there. There's a bit of silver shining through. Feels fairly heavy. Spoon. Broken spoon. From a, a buckle from a horse. Some horse equipment. Uh, big copper nail there. Probably post medieval I think. Buckle fragment there. This thing, I'm pretty sure it's got a screw, come on focus, a screw thread in the bottom. So, not very old. Quite nice though. This, um, not entirely sure what it is. It, I suppose it could be the front from a drawer pull. Um, could be Victorian, could be later I suppose. Uh, any help with IDs is appreciated. I can't see any patterns in the centre there or anything. And if you can, through the video. Again, I think that's probably furniture related. And again, not too old. Little ring there. Possibly harness ring or... Don't think it's a buckle. I'd love it if it was because I've never found an uh, annual buckle. Um, so it could be a harness ring or it could be uh, a, a suspension loop for hanging things off clothing, off belts. Several pieces of lead, a jockey head there. Plenty of buttons, uh, unfortunately, no nice ones. This little thing, I've had a look on the Portable Antiquities Scheme website. And it looks like this is a what they call a knife end cap. So that would have gone on the end of the knife, the handle would have gone this way and the blade this way. So a knife end cap, that's the second one of those I've found. Some coins, um, toasted one there. That, I think it was a George III farthing. It's in a poor state, I put a bit of stuff on it to make it a bit more visible, a bit easier to see that any detail that's left. The reverse is, uh, yeah, it's gone really. 
that looks like a George's second half penny reverse toasted and just make out the outline of the bust and the silhouette Victoria penny 1882 in a poor state George the fifth penny uh, again in a poor state I think that was 1920 yeah I said I found a wren farthing well I haven't I just found a, a George the fifth farthing there's no wren on this one Again, a very poor state. But that's what you get with copper coins, isn't it? Uh, little George V sixpence from 1921. So apparently that means it's only 50% silver. But still, I, I still uh, enjoyed finding that one. It's been a while since I've had some silver. Sorry for the noise, the heating's just come on. <laughs> I said that was a cartwheel. It isn't a cartwheel, it's just a George III penny. Got a little mark on it there, which is a shame. That's probably from a plough or something or other. It wasn't me. Uh, but not bad condition, really. Not too bad detail on that one. And that'll date from 1806. Yeah, I like that coin. That's nice. Um, I'll show you this first. I picked this up while walking around. I was looking out for pottery and stuff. And it's got some scratch marks, which so this has most likely been used to sharpen uh, a blade or blades. Um, I thought it might be a whetstone, but I, don't, I can't officially call it that because it's quite irregular on the other sides. Some scratches on the reverse, on the reverse, on this side as well. But I think that's a sharpening stone. Date-wise, well, a bit like lead, you can't, I don't think you can date these particularly easily. Um, if you find them with a hole drilled in one end, they're then they're more likely to be uh, medieval, but they, they were used Bronze Age times right through to, well, 1800s, 1900s even. Um, I put some photos of this on the forum and on Twitter and it does appear to be a sharpening stone anyway. Um, but it could be, it could be really old, this. it could be medieval, Viking, later than that, I don't know. I'd love to find out and I'll try and get that to my flow if I can at some point. I'll keep that anyway, definitely. Um, and the Roman coin, the first find from the video, was the best find, really. Um, as I started to clean it, I used a little wooden cocktail stick, and as I started to clean the muck off the front of it, I could see that they had bronze rot, and there were pits and holes everywhere, which is a real shame, but it is what it is. Um, the back, the reverse isn't in good condition at all, really. Anyway, that aside, I uh, found out that this is uh, a numus, which means coin, Latin for coin. It's a numus of Diocletian. And this would have been minted around 303 AD to 305 AD. Um, and apparently Diocletian retired to split in Croatia, uh, and he died in 311 AD. So there we go. So despite its state, I'm happy to have found that. Right folks, that's uh, that's it for this week's video. So once again, thanks very much for watching. If you stuck with it till the end of the roundup, well done. That's <laughs> a big thumbs up from me. Until next time, take care and we'll see you soon. Bye for now. <laughs>